is The Chrissy Swan Show. Well, good afternoon to you and thanks for listening to The Chrissy Swan Show. Jack, I'm going to start with uh, having a bit of a whinge. Yeah, I love it. Let's go. Coming to work. It smells like pizza as soon as I've arrived. I'm excited. That's an exciting scent to walk into. Yeah. And how lucky to yeah. have pizzas put on by work. Pre-payday lunch. Pre-payday. Everyone's scraping the barrel, but exactly, Nova's got you. Exactly, exactly. So imagine my horror and disappointment when I realise when I go to get a piece of margarita, which is probably my favourite, and I go, oh, okay, well, that's all right. I won't. There seems to be no margaritas ordered. There's got to be a Hawaiian. Surely. There's not one pizza with pineapple on it. It is outrageous. It is outrageous. My top three, if I was doing a group order, it would be margarita, Hawaiian and capriciosa. Can't go wrong. See, mine would be Hawaiian, margarita and barbecue chicken because it's a, a, a selection of meat or vegetarian option. I mean, that is, this is truly a first world problem. It is. Um, we've got a great show planned for you. How very dare you? We're going to play a round of that after 3pm. You and I have been <laughs> chuckling <laughs> for a few weeks about uh, something that happened to me. The Chrissy Swan Show. Chrissy's clickbait. Yes, what has grabbed my attention today? Well, this headline, German ballet director suspended over feces attack on critic. Oh. You know, people have opinions about art and performance and personalities yeah. and life choices. Sometimes they take them personally, as, uh, as has happened over in Germany. According to, I just love being able to speak German because I did German at school until year 12. I did not know that about you. Yeah, so I love it when there's a little bit of German in there and I can show off and say the daily Frankfurter Allgemeine Zeitung, uh, which is the name of the local paper. Yeah, I loved it. It was my favourite language. I sucked at language. Did you? Could not pick it up for the life of me. Loved it, loved it, loved it. Well, the paper has reported that a, uh, this is all very highfalutin too because it's about the opera. Wow. A female critic has said it was terrible. It was a terrible thing. Um, did not enjoy the performance. It was rank. And the person behind the performance tracked her down at an opening night. And <laughs> <laughs> I wish that would happen to us oh, here. Oh, man. <laughs> Sashayed. It would be terrifying. It would be funny. Sashayed through the crowded foyer. It's opening night. And had a brief discussion with her, I guess making sure that she was who he thought she was. And then he smeared a bag of poo in her face. He was that close that he could actually rub it in. I have so many questions. Like, where did the poo come from? How did he just have poo readily available? I reckon maybe he just, you know, hung out at a park. Yeah. And, uh, and and collected it. I mean, it's a terrible, terrible story. And she was incredibly humiliated, obviously. I mean, you'd need therapy. You would, you would. That is disgusting. And maybe a new job. And, and actually, he, prob- he probably needs therapy too. True, we should be focusing <laughs> on him. Let's focus on him. Let's not victim blame here. Yeah, yeah. Let's not victim blame. But that's what's happening in Germany and Deutschland. Let's go to Drake now. Oh, one of the greats. The best. He's been very quiet for a very long time, and that hurts my heart. He's been busy being rich and being a dad. Yeah, well, I mean, that's the, they're both honourable pursuits. Yeah. <laughs> um, his five-year-old Adonis, who is Drake, like he's got exactly the same face as Drake, but he's just lighter. Lighter, because he's got those beautiful French eyes. He's so cute. He's so cute to look at, but this is the first time I've really heard his personality, and he's a cutie. Um, his five-year-old son, Adonis, has crashed his interview uh, with a weird... I've never heard of these guys, Barstool Sports. Yeah, it's like a podcast, and Caleb Presley, who hosts it, is a pretty big podcaster and vlogger over in the States. Right. It's sort of an irreverent, naughty, funny, funny take. Yeah. yeah, they ask the questions that you're not expecting. And uh, we certainly were not expecting this when he sat down with five-year-old... A five, five-year-old Adonis. Can you read? No, I can't. Do you think if you had a better dad, you would be able to read? This is my better dad. Do you think if he did a better job with you at home that you'd be able to read? Yeah, and that's a funny dad. Also, he does a lot of jokes. Yeah. 
jokes for the win. And just ignores the question. Yeah, and that's a funny dad. Yeah, he's like, okay, so he doesn't help me at all, but he's a funny guy. That's what matters. That is important. And rich. The Chrissy Swan Show. For all your health and beauty products and advice you can count on, visit Priceline Pharmacy. Priceline has a massive range of brands at great everyday prices. Whatever you're after, you'll find it at Priceline Pharmacy. Hurry into your nearest Priceline Pharmacy or check out Priceline.com.au. The Chrissy Swan Show. What's my name? Who is it? Chrissy Swans. Who am I? Yes, we've got $500 worth of Coles vouchers up for grabs. I'm going to take $100 worth of those vouchers away every time Olivia from Adelaide gets a question wrong. Olivia? Hi, Chrissy. Are you feeling confident? Feeling confident. Let's do this. And how great is $500 worth of Coles vouchers? What a great That's prize. Awesome. We should just say Olivia registered via the Nova player. So if you want to play tomorrow, jump on there now and Get register on your it. details. It's so easy. And you can be scanning away, Olivia. All right, let's go. I've got five <laughs> clues. Your first clue for $500 worth of Coles vouchers. The meaning of my name is thankful or grateful. Oh, um... so it tells you it might be a foreign... Foreign name, not English. Oh. Jack. <laughs> I was generous there. Olivia, normally he's <laughs> much quicker on the... <laughs> he doesn't want you to take these Coles vouchers I home. do. I he gave doesn't. her a lot of time. Oh, come on. <laughs> We're down to $400 worth of Coles right, vouchers. My first two albums were commercial failures. Ashante. It is not, but I believe you're on the right yeah, track. You're, you're getting there. For three hundred dollars worth of Coles vouchers, I have performed at the Super Bowl. Rihanna. No. Uh, too easy. We wouldn't make it that easy, Olivia. <laughs> Fresh in my mind. By we, Jack means he. Two hundred dollars of Coles vouchers for you on this. I have been in trouble with the tax department. Snoop. <laughs> oh. Oh. No, but you're really I'm not good. Doing too well, am I? No, but they're really good guesses, Olivia. You're really on the right path. For a hundred dollars of Coles vouchers. My hips don't lie. Shakira. <laughs> Shakira, Shakira. Da, 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 da. What a tune. You can sing that when you're spinning up big at coals, Olivia. Thanks, Chrissy. You're Thank the best. You. Have a gorgeous day. The Chrissy Swan Show. I am so delighted that I no longer have to write an application letter for a job. Oh, it's a good feeling. I'm too old. I've worked too long. That I, I don't need, dear sir slash madam. I don't need to do that, but I did. For, I did my fair share of letters. In fact, when I first got out of advertising school, I went for something like thirty-seven job interviews and did not get a single one. <gasps> That's soul destroying. Oh man, it See, was so hard. I've never had to write one because when I got a job at Nova, I just started banging on everyone's door, being yeah. like, "Let me have this job." That's that's a good way to do it. It's better than the the letter because then you're left going, "How can I get these people's attention?" I was getting my photos done in photo booths and spending wow. a fortune. Oh, it was hard. So I'm very glad that that part of my life is over. But on my the letters that I wrote never went like this. This is an application that was actually received for a hospitality job in Brisbane. Hey, so that's how it starts. Hey, <laughs> very cash. Not dear sir, madam. Hey, I'm applying to you today's today as uh, would like to work at your company plus wanting slash needing a job and get off Centrelink. Okay. But also at the moment, if it suits you, I would like to be part time and love ten to twenty hours a week, ideally ATM at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> I love the use of ATM at the end of that sentence. Twice, twice she used ATM. Not gonna lie, I like to. Sp- I like to speed and get heaps of complaints <laughs> and cause trouble. Plus, I like to drink alcohol, party, club, skids, burnouts, etc., etc. Pretty much doing dumb shit. Thanks for reading. Maybe I have written a job application. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely, there's a few people we know that could have signed off that one. Um, 
And then I read, I love that, by the way. And you might, have you ever been on Centrelink benefits? I haven't. Okay, so part of the deal is is that you have to be seen to be applying. I did know that, yeah. For work. So this is what this is. Yep. It's like, I, look, I did apply for it. It's a box tick, it. yeah. Yeah, I did apply. Anyway, I read the comments and um, one guy said, we hired one of these people for a laugh. Obviously, it happens all the time. Ah. And then somebody said, oh, what, what, what happened? And, uh, you know, apparently she came for the interview completely unprepared, literally going through the motions, and they gave her the job for a laugh. And she was told to sell it on Monday. She didn't turn up till Tuesday. And he said she was actually okay for a few months. They were like, oh, God, maybe the joke's on us. Yeah. And then one day she just didn't turn up and they got an email saying that she uh, was resigning to work on her crypto folio. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that word crypto. I know, I know. The Chrissy Swan Show. The Chrissy Swan Show. And we are back to talk about Australian Idol. Uh, it's a great series this year. Pa- hosting panel, uh, Harry Connick Jr., Amy Shark, Kyle Sanderlands. Megan Trainer. Megan Trainer, And beautiful uh, Scott Tweedy. And... The, Rick, the Ricky great Lee. Ricky Lee Coulter um, in the sidelines. But last night's episode, there was a fainting. And Jack, come on, let's come clean. We love when people faint. <laughs> we love it. We love it when there's some sort of unexpected biological meltdown that occurs. And frankly, so do the producers because they always, always, always make it to the show. Oh, and it's a great promo. You're not you're not, not watching to see somebody faint. I know. What what does that say about it? Well, it means that we're not alone. This is what happened on Australian Idol. Have a listen to Noah hitting the deck. Uh, Go and celebrate, fellas. Thank you. Works out. Works Thank out. you so much. <gasps> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> He really went down like a sack of potatoes, let's call it that. And Amy Sharks, oh my God. Oh my God, oh my God. Play it again, play it again. Go and celebrate, fellas. Thank you. Works out, works out. so much. (gasps) (laughs) He really, he really, but it's the The face just before it happens. Let's quickly go through our greatest hits of people falling over and hurting themselves on national television that we've enjoyed over the last eight years, Jack. One of our favourites, Denise Drysdale, on set of Holy Moly, that mini golf show, Mm -hmm. she takes a fall. Give us your little furry hand. Oh, ouch. Oh, 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 I've done my shoulder. (laughs) <laughs> it's the best bit. Oh, it, feel, it feels so bad to be laughing at Australia's sweetheart like that. I mean, that woman is a legend, but still, it's still funny. It's still great. What else have you got there? The Mount Rushmore for us would have to probably be Wendy Williams. Yes. Everybody's seen this. Her she, in that Halloween costume. Let's explain who she is. She's a daytime talk host. She's nuttier than a fruitcake. And she was dressed up on this occasion as the Statue of Liberty. <laughs> And I actually don't know what happens to her here. She just has a full brain fart. Uh, how you doing? Halloween comp- uh, costume contest. We do it every year. It's always a lot of fun. Let's get started. Our first caress. Breathing. <laughs> <laughs> you know things are going a bad way when she says, our first caress. It doesn't it even make like sense. It sounded like it could have been more serious than a faint for a while there. I know, but it wasn't. It She's wasn't. fine. She stood back up in like within two minutes and finished the show. She's Absolutely. not on air anymore. But No, she's not. But it's got nothing to do with what happened there <laughs> no. in the Statue of Liberty costume. The Chrissy Swan Show. Jack, can you please read out the word that is written on my hand? I mean, f- what is that handwriting? Can How you read it? Oh, it's oh, hard Murphy, to write. Murphy. It says Murphy. And do you know why? Why? Because he's your dog. He's my dog, but I've managed to find someone to give him a haircut. Do you remember last week yeah. I was saying I cannot get him a haircut for love or money? And it's hot. And he's a cavoodle, and I feel sad for him. I'm like, I can't do anything for you. And I wasn't sure if it was just chaotic Chrissy not understanding how to book him in through the system no. or the website, but you were actually just struggling to I find someone. I was really struggling, and I tried, you know, my regular one weren't calling me back. I tried a few others not taking new clients. I mean, if it's like trying to get a kid in to see a therapist <laughs> after COVID. There's absolutely no openings, but I did find one, and I've dropped him there this morning. But here's where Chaotic Chrissy comes in. Oh, what have you done? The likelihood of me 
driving out of this office tonight and going straight home and then at 8 p.m. going, where's Murphy? Are very high because I'm supposed to pick him up after work. So I'm hoping by writing his name on my hand, I'll constantly go, yes, don't forget to get Murphy. Because you can see it, can't you? I'm sitting at home having a cup of tea yeah. on the couch. Oh, well, I wonder where Murphy is. Is he out the front? Go gong. As long as you're not doing that with your kids, it's fine. As long well, as it's just the dog. <laughs> listen, there's always, there's always time for a first. The Chrissy Swan Show. It's time for a round of... How very day. I am thrilled. <laughs> this is a good one. <laughs> to kick this off. 13, 24, 10, by the way, give us a call. If somebody has so- said something to you so rude and astounding that you've just had to say, how very day. I actually find it so funny <laughs> when someone is is really rude or mean to me. It's good that you've been like that. You're like that because life could be grim if we, life, co- yeah, you know, if we took offence to every little bad thing someone said. Yes, and I'm sure I can't remember that there was a time that that was me. I can't remember that, but I'm sure there was. But the last say ten or fifteen years, I think it is so genuinely funny. Yeah, and I'm not putting it on. I'm not like, oh, laugh, Chrissy. It'll yeah, make it I'm hurt fine. less. I'm fine. I've got a tough skin. It's fine. Yeah, no, yeah. it's not that. It's legitimately so funny to me. So funny that I sent this to you, yeah. Jack, when it happened. <laughs> so, I post um, my treasures on my walks because I walk all the time and I see beautiful little vignettes of ordinary life that I love to share with Instagram. And I always start the series of treasures with a photo of me on the road. And I either take it with my left hand up in the air or I take it with both hands in front of me. Oh, I've never taken a selfie with both hands. Yeah, so you hold it. Yeah, gotcha. It, yeah, you hold it. Right. So, this photograph that I posted, the the, the caption is treasures because that indicates that they're coming and it's just a photo of me with sunglasses walking. <laughs> and I'm holding the phone up so my neck is straining. And my neck looks like that. That's my neck, yeah. right? <laughs> Someone... <laughs> Someone has just commented, <laughs> neck. Neck. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. She's just gone, neck. And I didn't even realise that my neck looked weird. And I look at it and, yeah, it's a 50-year-old neck. Like, it's a neck. Yeah. It's my neck. It looks like that. <laughs> Sorry. But just the simplicity of the, of the insult Neck. And all caps, wasn't it? No, it wasn't. Oh. It, no, it had an exclamation, oh, exclamation mark. Exclamation mark. Yeah, it had an exclamation mark. She really wanted me to know that my neck, neck looked... <laughs> neck! Do you think it was intended for you? Or, like, was she forwarding that to someone to say it? Or do you think she just wanted to reply to you, neck? <laughs> that is a really good question. I hope she thought she was responding to me. Yeah, it makes it funnier. that makes it funnier. Um... But I don't care. I'll take it either way. That is the best how very day that's happened to me this week. Some people just have absolutely no tact. Neck. <laughs> so, Jack isn't just saying weird nouns over and over. Just neck. Neck. He uh, He's quoting a woman on Instagram who saw a picture of me and just wrote, Neck. I love it. apparently my neck was bad. Just, just saying somebody's... Body parts is hilarious to me. It actually me. made me spit my tea out. I love it. It's um, full real housewife. Yeah, it Ankles. is. Ankles. Ankles. <laughs> Karen, what is the time that uh, you had to say, how very dare you? How very dare you? Hi, guys. How are you going? Hi, gorgeous. Good. That's good. I have a friend of mine that basically refuses to use my toilet and insists on using my backyard every time he's had a couple of beers. What? Yes. Yeah, so I do say to him, Please, at least if you're going to use the yard, go on the lemon tree, mate, please. <laughs> I'm assuming that it's a number one and not a number two, Karen. Yes, that is correct. Why won't he go to the toilet? Here. That's disgusting. Do you, do you clean your toilet, Karen? Do you have a clean toilet? I do. I have quite a clean house. Um, but he's a bit rough around the edges. He's a bit of a bogan country boy, so it's kind of a bit of a thing that he does up on his property and... He seems to bring it to my place. He's most unusual. How? It is. How very dare you. I'm yeah. going to give you a Priceline voucher um, that you're going to spend on stuff exclusively for your toilet because he'll never get there. <laughs> Clearly needs <laughs> a spruce up. Yeah. <laughs> Kerry from uh, Melbourne. Hey, Keza. 
Hi, how are you going, Chris? Yeah, good. When when has somebody just taken the wind out of your sails? Well, I'm going to name shame. It was Maya Mullen, <laughs> and it was in the shoe department. And I have a bit of lymphedema in my left leg, which you know, obviously, I'm a bit preoccupied about. And just to give people just to give people an idea, I know what that condition is. It's yeah. sort of a unusual swelling of the joints and it happens in sort of wrists and arms and ankles knees that sort of thing Mm. exactly and i tried i so i got these shoes which were beautiful and she said to me i don't think i'll suit your ankles (laughs) (laughs) how very dare you how very dare (laughs) did you say something to her well i wanted to punch her out (laughs) no i just said to her i said did you really just say that to me? And she just gave me a bit of a look and, yeah, I was gobsmacked. That is bizarre. You know, wow. you're not putting shoes on your ankles. You're putting shoes on your feet. You should, have, know, you should so. have gone full Karen and asked for the manager, Kerry. Had her fired. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's not too late. Hey, I've got a Priceline voucher for you, Kerry. You're going to be mad for that. You're going to love it. Uh, Louise. Louise. Hi, Hi Chrissy. How Hi. are you? What is your how very dare you? Well, I live in a small town. It's got two supermarkets and I was at the local supermarket the other day with my best friend and went through the checkout and the lady asked me if I had a senior's card. <laughs> I'm only 49 years old. <laughs> You're 49? <laughs> You're 49? I've got no, yes, I've got no grey hair. I wear glasses, but I don't think I look 60. And what did did you, was your friend embarrassed for you? Because that's the worst part. Well, she actually didn't say anything until we got out. And I said to her, did you just hear that? And she said, I did. And I said, how rude. And she said, extremely rude. (laughs) How rude. (laughs) The Chrissy Swan Show. The Chrissy Swan Show. Chrissy's Clickbait. Yes, Louis Vuitton. That's how you say it if you're oui, up oui. yourself. Louis Vuitton. Vuitton. Louis Vuitton. Louis Vuitton. <laughs> I love when um, what's her face sings about that. Megan Trainer. I get at my Louis, Louis Vuitton. Vuitton. Anyway, guess who they've just appointed as the new creative director? The great Pharrell, Pharrell Williams. Williams. Man, if he can if he can bring a smile to as many faces with fashion as he did with this song, he'll be breaking records. Well, Pharrell's got form in fashion because he actually did a collaboration with Louis Vuitton back in 2004. Did he? Yeah, so he's been a friend of the brand for like several years and I know way too That's much about interesting. this. Interesting. And when he, uh, when Virgil, the former creative director of men's, passed away, uh, he sort of left a legacy. He made Louis Vuitton a little bit more street. And I think Pharrell will sort of continue that yes. and keep it modern. Wow, it's a big job for him Huge. and good on him. How lucky to still be challenged and creative yeah. as he gets a bit older. Because you know that he, he has been mad for fashion and he's, he's happy to take advice too. Because you know that, I told you this a couple of weeks ago when Vivian Westwood died. You know, Pharrell had that iconic pale camel-coloured hat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like a hat you've never seen before. Really wasn't, tall. Well, a really cowboy hat. wasn't really a top hat, but it's a, an iconic look. That was actually Vivian Westwood's idea, and he was like, yep, yeah, let's go with it. Thrilled for him. Love it. And maybe one day we'll be able to afford something from Louis Vuitton. <laughs> uh, thieves have stolen 200,000 Cadbury cream eggs before cops managed to crack the case. See Good. what they did there? So this guy, there's a lot about this story that I love. One, a a truck, a lorry, if you will, because this happened in the UK, was seen speeding along the M42. It was pulled over and the contents was discovered to be £40,000 worth of Cadbury cream eggs. Far out. Now, I don't know what that is in Australian. It's a lot because our lot. dollar's worth nothing. That would be like a hundred grand, say. $100,000 worth of Cadbury cream eggs. The guy that was driving the lorry is called Joby Pool. <laughs> Who's that? Go again? Joby Pool. Joby. 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 J O B Y Pool. Joby. My name's Joby Pool, <laughs> and I most certainly did not steal those Cadbury <laughs> cream eggs. Anyway, he did steal them. And. 
people are hailing the police as heroes that have saved Easter. Ah, maybe mm. Joby is the Easter bunny. No, they they have ruined Easter. They Why? have ruined Easter because here's a sweeping statement for you. Yeah, the Cadbury cream egg. They would have been better off. Forty thousand pounds worth dumped in the Thames River <laughs> because they are the very worst chocolate you can waste your Cadbury Agreed. chocolate craving on. I don't need goo in the middle of my Easter egg. No, I don't mind caramel goo. Oh, no. Nah. I just want solid chocolate. Really? Yeah, I want oh, my teeth no. to hurt. Look, I am not against goo. Oh, I, I love goo. goo. No, I don't love goo. But not that. Cab- Plus, it's made to look like it's a yolk and a white in chocolate. Yeah, it's Yuck. Rank. No. No, Joby Pool. Joby was doing God's work. <laughs> he was. I'm sorry he got caught. The Chrissy Swan Show. Specsavers is helping Chrissy with her mystical visions. Should have gone to Specsavers. Listen, I'm Matt. Mystic doesn't realise when the opener finishes. You think I would have known You'd that? You'd think your was... senses would tell you. I was just going to say, I'm mad for spec savers, but I don't need any help with these visions. I reckon you do. <laughs> Let's cross to the call. I love how scathing you are <laughs> and utterly unsupportive. Jamie. Hi, Chrissy. How are you? Straight away, I get the name Lynn, Louise, Anne, Jane, Caroline. No. <laughs> Straight away you got that as well. <laughs> what, none of them mean anything to you? None of those, nope. <laughs> Sharon. <laughs> nope. Move away from the names, okay. mate. All right. <laughs> Your favourite pizza is Hawaiian. That is a big no. <laughs> <laughs> You don't like golf. That is correct. I mean, shush. Nobody likes <laughs> golf. Netball. Net- no. Netball was not your forte. <laughs> it was not, no. Oh. Jamie, I can see your car and it's got a very clean boot. That it does. Okay, I'll I pay was, that. I was shocked at how clean it was. Are you really fastidious with that sort of thing? With the car, yes. Yeah. Mm. Unlike someone I know. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie. Yep. Lee. No. <laughs> I get that all the time, though. <laughs> all right, one more big swing for Jamie. Come on. N- Nissan. Mazda. <laughs> Are you there? Kind of. My brother owns a Mazda. Okay, I can see a white Mazda. Nope, black. <laughs> <laughs> you like your eggs organic free range? Yes, I do. I love a good egg. And so do I. They're Who like- likes caged eggs? Got to let them be free, man. Exactly. How up yourself is that, Jamie? Who likes caged eggs? Some people can't afford organic free-range eggs, Jack. You wouldn't know that. That is very true. I can't either. I just steal them from you. (laughs) (laughs) When you go to the servo, you sometimes pop a peppermint arrow in your order. No, don't like mint. (laughs) All right, one more. I'm giving you one more. This is actually your last (laughs) chance, Mystic. (laughs) I'm really nervous. I see Hollywood Los Angeles around you and size 10, either shoes or clothes. Shoes. Size 10 shoes? You've got a big hoof like me, Jamie. I I do, yes. I should get your number. I'm cleaning out my cupboard and I've got heaps of shoes. Do you want them? Oh, really? I do want them. All right. (laughs) I'll get get your number and I'll just seriously, though, clear out some space in your wardrobe. I've got some shoes, baby girl. Or they can go straight in a clean boot. Yes, and also you've just won just for playing along with me and a total idiot. You've got yourself a, uh, a, a VIP Specsavers voucher for a pair of glasses or sunnies. That's amazing. It is amazing. You won't believe the range and two hundred and fifty dollars cash, How good. Jamie. That's awesome. Thank you very much, right. Don't spend it on shoes because Toot Toot Australia Post is on their way. <laughs> I was just say I've got new ones coming. I don't need to. That's it. <laughs> Thanks, Jamie. Now check this out. The Chrissy Swan Show is a Nova podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcast.com.au.